Hi there, my name is Solomon, and together with my team members, Jordan and Connor, we will take a look at our supply chain analytics project, which has to do with determining the credit card churn rate of a credit card company. In this scenario, we can think of it as American Express. The data that was gathered from uh, for making all these visualizations was taken from Kaggle.com, and it, it, it falls under the credit card churn rate calculation. You can see that the data set contains the customer ID, the attrition flag, which determines whether the customer has left or still remains in the company, average age, educational level, marital status, income category, and more details, such as the type of credit card the customer has, how many months they have lacked on the payments, and etc. By taking a look at the visualizations, it can be seen that it is interactive and also that it has multiple filters on this side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, it can be seen that there are filters such as the income, the gender, and attrition flag, which determines leaving or remaining. There are visualizations that are made in order to count the, the number of customers that are within each of the categories. Here you can see that there are 1,949 and the average age is about 45. You can see that uh, the income by age determines that this category by clicking on it has yep, the category majority of it falls and make below the amount of $40,000. You can also see that um, this group that was selected has on average a large volume of uh, standard credit cards and followed by uh, silver, gold, and then platinum. It can also be seen that some of the members have been inactive for three months. That means that they have not used the credit card for three months. Upon further analyzing, it can be seen that this group accounts for 2.2 million within the company and that the average um, education level is graduated. It can also be seen that there's about the equal number of males and females when it comes towards the gender distribution. One of the key factors when determining whether a customer is about to leave the company or stay is the average utilization rate. There's a constant uh, line that was, that was uh, printed at 25%, which signifies that if a customer um, utilization drops from 100% or 60% to 25, that means that they are about to default on the credit card and that sales company, that the sales team should um, look into the customers. Based on the selection of, uh, of this, a list is produced here, referencing the customer ID and also their current account statuses as to how much revenue is uh, revolving balance is in each of the account, how many transactions they have encountered and what was the change between quarter one and quarter two. Now we will take a deeper dive into the credit card churn rate data set. When selecting, the customers that are left, you can immediately see that the age range is about 44 and there are about 330 customers within that. They make less than 40,000. They have a standard credit card. And because of that, their average utilization rate falls below 25. So that was one of the main reasons why this constant line was produced there. It can also be seen that the customer details are there. However, when looking um, deeper into this, it can be seen that the amount of customers that are leaving only account to about 239,000. So that means that a lot of customers are still remaining and it gives the bank a chance to upgrade their services and make it better. Now, when looking at the gender distribution here, when selecting male, it can be seen that a lot of males, they tend to make a higher salary. And this is about between 60,000 to 120,000. While when selecting on female, it can be seen that they own that majority of them, they tend to make less than 40K or between the range of 40 to 60K. Now, heading to the remaining customers, by clicking on that, it can be seen the majority of the customers, which accounts for about 1,619, and to be within the 45 um, years range, and they make less than 40K, followed by 40 to 60K, 
and 60 to 80 K. Majority of them tend to be inactive for about two months, three months or one month, and they have a standard credit card. You can see that the remaining customers significantly outweigh the customers that are leaving, which is good for the organization. However, the dashboard helps to identify why customers might be leaving. You can see that for the customers that are remaining, majority of their rates are on average, the utilization is up. That means that they're using it. However, there's a larger volume of bars that signifies that the customer rate uh, um, utilization rate is below 25%. So when looking into this data, one should ponder why customers are leaving or what are the factors that determine whether the customer might stay or go. One of the, um, one of the factors is that the customer inactivity, um, inactivity on the cards are about three months. Now, to think about it, a customer would use a credit card to pay for their monthly um, uh, bills and also to use it on a daily basis, weekly, how and there should be a higher um, activity rate on the customer card. This might signify that our credit card company might have to up bonuses, um, rewards on customer or even cashback. They have to promote or make a certain package that will help them to keep the customer. And that in turn would boost the average utilization. And in turn, also, a lot of customers might be prompted to upgrade from a standard credit card into silver, gold, or platinum if the reward are significant. Now, one of the good things about this dashboard is that by clicking on the, the, the bars that have not done so well, it produces a list that you can really determine. For example, here, sorry, my, uh, my tableau function um, is not so optimal. And here it can be seen that at the lower bar of remaining customers, which has a utilization rate of 13.59, majority of them have the blue standard card and they fall within the category of 120K. Now to ponder, why would the customers that make majority of the money still have a normal credit card? That should signify that the, that the credit card company should do something better and prompt them to, to upgrade from a basic credit card into a silver, gold, or platinum. And that would make a better customer base. Now, it can be seen that that accounts for about 146,000 of the account balances. And here's a list. Now, when looking at the data, it can be seen also that a lot of customers, they have a revolving balance of zero. On, in the bank account, and that was colored to be bad. Now, the reason for this is that we have analyzed and realized that a lot of customers, they are opening the credit card account, but they are not depositing any money. And this signifies that if they don't have any money deposited in the account, they might not use your credit card. So this is another factor that can be addressed by the sales team, and they can prompt the customer to make deposits into our account by offering better features. Now to switch over. Based on our research, it can be seen that there are many things that a credit card company can do in order to attract customers. They can offer one-time bonuses when signing up. They can offer one or 2% cash back, reward points that can be used when uh, traveling or at uh, other vendors, frequent fire mile, flyer miles, the increase in the safety of the credit card. So for example, if the credit card was not so safe, they can boost the safety. And also that will help the customer to know that the cash is safe at the big credit card company. Furthermore, the repayment grace period can be extended. The credit card can offer things like insurance, universal acceptance so that it can be used at any ATM, also help to build credit card and keeping vendors honest. Such an example that we decided to go after is SoFi. Now SoFi credit card is determined with the customer in mind. They have a functional app which helps the customer to determine how they want to allocate their money. It's also very easy to access. It helps the customer to save, to invest into the stock market, 
And also it offers a 2% unlimited cash back. Now, our company might not be able to do that. However, ideas, ideas can be formed into making a package that will help our customer base to stay and remain loyal to us. Some of the additional feature that can be added is that rewards can be given to the customer in the form of crypto. Um, the payments can be extended so that customer have a, a longer period to pay back and also at a lower interest rate. And our credit card can't, can offer um, different discounts with other, by partnering with other companies such as Lyft, Runway, DoorDash. So in this case, it would be Uber, it can be with um, Felix or any services. This in turn was my presentation. I hope you liked it. Enjoy the rest of your day.